Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week of August 16th. And this is a very general reading. Huh. Okay, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay, there's a few things we're looking at here, and this could be... Okay, I'm going to describe it in a few ways because it is a general reading. We're seeing like a devil-like energy, So, but there's messages with this. It's in your base energy. To me, this indicates, um, for some of you, a very strong sexual attraction. Um, this could be someone. And you're almost like you're not sure what to do with that. It's like you're kind of like turned off or you just want to be friends more. For others, it's just, it, you know, because it's a fear. For others, this is, you know, there's something really deep here. And so there is that strong, strong attack, attraction. I do see that energy. For others, just be careful. This is almost like, you know, the devil enters your life. So this could be something where you're going to feel really like chained or obsessed with or th there's possibility of that energy. But I see the energy of like in Libra or Aries here. I also see that maybe this will be um, someone invites you to some kind of get together. Maybe you, you go on a date. Um, yeah, you may have some fun, but like I said, it, it, for some of you, it's just a strong, strong physical attraction. Okay. Now I see this week to you. You there is a need to stand your ground. Whatever it is that it is going on. Whether it's work, whatever it is, you need to stand your ground and stand up for yourself. I am seeing that kind of energy. Um, there is also a very, very um, creative spark for some of you. You may be feeling it. And this is a good time to express it through some kind of writing. Write some stories. There's creative writing here. Um, something that inspires others or you or enlightens. So I see that kind of energy. It's like very uh, creative. There could be a creative spark. So this is taking advantage of it at the time. High creativity here too. For some of you, this is be careful of the web you weave, you know, because, you know, that gets entangled sometimes. So yeah, we are seeing that energy too. Um, Also, music. Now, I'm seeing this in many ways, too. For some of you who are music um, artists, uh, you play music, it's a great time writing music, playing music, okay? For others, um, I see music is essential to your healing and your well-being. So, it's like, this is a week to either sing, play an instrument, listening to it. Music is coming through as a healing mode here, too. I do see some of you going to be triumphant, okay? There's success, victory, triumphant type of energy. So seeing that kind of energy showing up, beautiful. You get what you deserve is what I'm seeing here for some of you. And it looks very, very positive. There could be something heavy on your mind, and um, a decision that needs to be made. But know that everything that you need or want, it's it's there. It's it's there for you. Uh, for some of you, it could be dealing with courts this week. Or this it could be dealing with, um, you know, legal process. And this could be just official agreements, documents, um, major purchases. I do see that kind of energy. I see some kind of money coming in. This is something new. Uh, money coming in, definitely seeing that for some of you. Uh, this is a new path. You've got a new job. For some of you, this could be um, a new, yeah, it's a new, definitely a new journey is opening up. Some of you dealing with the letter J, double J, or just J for some of you. Hmm, interesting. There is a big energy here of feeling very alone. You're feeling a void and you're trying to fill it, but make sure it's not escapism, okay? So sometimes when that happens, we, you know, we tend to gravitate to escapism or to things that we shouldn't. <laughs> For some of you, I see a second source of income coming in, okay? This could be two jobs or two job offers for some of you, okay? And a decision you're going to have to make with that. 
Um, know that a lot of things, um, something this week is not going to turn out the way you thought it'll be. So, um, don't pre-assume anything either. Okay. So I am seeing that energy. I do see some of you dealing with a female this week too. Um, this person can be a little bit extravagant or, um, very impatient. I feel this person also exaggerates, can play victim, but you um can't you will have you, for a lot of you will have some kind of a triumph over this and standing your ground is going to be very important there's a sense of a lot of manipulative type of energy here it surrounds you that means you know you could be the manipulator too when i see this energy so i have to put it out there there's a lot of manipulative type of energy here um i do see here that a lot of you are attracting a lot in your life so it's like a lot of people might find you very attractive physically or they like your personality there's a, a charisma to you this week so i do like that that means it also you can come um come up with a lot of great uh great uh, creative solutions a lot of creativity here you have a new beginning okay and this is with you and maybe another person mm, that's for some of you I see, be careful of overworking this week. Work could be a little bit tiring this week. I do see um, indecisiveness. It's like you may have some opportunities or you're thinking of where, what to do. Should I um, move job, you know, find another job? I do kind of see that energy. You got some decisions coming up. But definitely a new beginning here, all right? Um, I do see for some of you, this could be travel. Okay, and this could be just an opportunity to. I do see a lot of um help around you too. Okay, so I see some kind of travel or help around you as well. So, and an opportunity to move. It's just an opportunity as well. This could be resident uh, residence. Standing your ground this week. Um, I see triumph and success. Music, creativity, very interesting week for Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, that was your reading for the week of, um, wait a minute. Some of you will be making some changes with work and job, okay? There's something or someone you may be tired of, someone that may be, if this could be a boss that I saw this extra, extravagant type of exaggerating person, because I'm seeing a lot of the butterfly in here. It, to me, this is indicating some transition and making some kind of uh, changes. Okay. All right, uh, Scorpio. This was a reading for the week of August 16th. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Yeah. Um, this, <laughs> I keep saying I'm done, but I am seeing very interesting energies. There was something I just saw here, so and I think it's very important to talk about too. Um, you have even a seven in the spiritual realm here, so this is really interesting energies. Um, there's a lot of like things on divine timing, and I do see some changes coming up for some of you um, needing to get grounded. Um, and for some, wow, this can indicate, um, let me see, this can indicate, and this is not just this week, but there is something that's coming up with work or career. It's like you need to step up. You may get a leadership position or um, expected to take the lead, not be behind the scenes somehow. And you need to know that you have the confidence and you have the knowledge and the capability to do so. So you have to trust in yourself too, because there could be a fear with trying to make that kind of change here from what I'm seeing. Okay. All right. Um, Scorpio, that was your reading. Now I'm closing up. Okay. <laughs> that was your reading for the week of August 16th through the 22nd. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.